Pail of bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And and I hope that you are able to resonate with the content of the video and you feel like you did got a good vibe and insight. Please go ahead and share it. You can do the same for another person or even take them up a little bit higher. It's always appreciated. So with that being said, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos. And the video I'm about to do right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, it's like you're a diamond. Nothing can break you. You speak fluent and pressure. I'm like, God, dog. I don't know where I was getting. I don't know what I was doing when I felt that. But I guess it was just like, you know, you dropping gems. You know, I don't forgot where I got that from. I said, oh, I'm dropping gems. You know, you dropping something that's very precious. You know, with, with us within ourselves are very precious. A lot of times we don't feel it is that when we're facing a lot of things. You're going through things. You know, it, it, you know, sometimes things can get really heavy and really, you know, hurtful. And it can make you doubt everything in your life. Like, you know, nothing good is going to come out of it. I'm tired of always congratulating other people. And my life is still the way it is. You know. And it's just the more I push out positivity, the more negative comes to me. The more I'm being humble. The more things that just, you know, just keep breaking me. And it's just like, a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to see... Uh, a positive vibration or a positive insight, you know, towards negative situations, negative, you know, outcomes or whatever. Um, but it's all about, you know, universe is seeing the uh, potential in you. You know, they see the hunger in you, the strength and the power you have. You know, and a lot of times we don't realize, um, realize that we have to be able to recognize that within ourselves by everything that we have faced, everything we have gone through. You know, you've gone through a lot of a lot of things that many people don't know about. You're dealing with a lot of battles that many people don't know about. And just for you being able to take it day by day, you don't know how strong that can be. You know, that that's really strengthening you. Even when you're trying your hardest just to hold yourself together. I know I've been hearing that through, you know, uh, I, I got a post where I was looking at when I was trying to choose thumbnails and stuff like that. Is that all you did, if, if today is all you did is just to hold yourself together today. That was a very that was a big power move. You don't realize just the baby steps that you're creating is gonna impact you in some kind of way. You know, and they'll show me different posts. Like a lot of times I'll tell y'all when I'm I'm talking, it's like different posts will come up to my hind's eye. Uh being able to see it's just like uh, you know, you gonna understand you're you're a diamond, you represent a diamond when you see all the pressure that life gave you. You know, it's like a diamond in the rough, you know, you don't know of a valuable stone you are, a crystal you are. You know, you hold a lot of power, you hold a lot of wisdom, you hold a lot of love. And a lot of times for you to recognize that you had to go through something very detrimental. You know, you had to really get hit hard with some real stuff into your life. And these things are showing you so much that you didn't know about yourself until you had to go through the worst of the worst. You know, I look at my stuff and it was like, man, I never would have thought I would have been. And you know, if somebody could have told me like 10 years a goal that I'm be up in here, you know, doing podcasting, you know, being a social media influence. I'll probably would have bust out laughing. But like, no, Rosalyn, you've been sober. You don't smoke weed. You don't smoke cigarettes. You don't drink no more. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. You sure does me, you know, and been like that. You know, you calm and you know you're not allowing things to affect you like it was. I would have straight laughed. I'm like, yeah, right. I don't know who you talking about. There must be another person that may be duplicating me or something like that. Could be, you know, like present got him. You know, they always got duplicates for them. Like I must got one of those too. But I never thought I would be doing stuff like this. And it just when I can allow myself, you know, I know what I've gone through. I know the things that I, you know I'm facing. I'm mean, not tell everything, you know, verbatim everything I'm going through. You know, but I tell what is needed to say. You know, what I know can help other people. I said other stuff. I'm like, man, no, I had to close the door on that. No, I had to make peace with that. You know, God will tell me, no, don't talk about that. Or no, you can talk about that. These are things, you know, certain people need to be, you know, I need, need to hear, need to understand. You know, because there's a lot of times you try to wonder if there's other people that really understand the pain that you go through. You know, how hard it is for you to keep a brave face on when you want to break. You know, 
And these are the things you really had to go through. You know, I've seen um, a lot of people I've met during my journey of things that just broke my heart that people have told me. And it's just like, you know, with people telling me that, I'm just like, dude, if you only knew, <laughs> you know. But there will be people that has told me different things that I've interacted with them or I brought some kind of blessing to them I didn't know I was doing. Um, when they finally tell me the things they go through and it just, you know, I break down and cry. You know, I, I, I'm like, I don't know how you're able to smile, you know, make a joke, you know, you know, uplift other people. Because a lot of times, you you know, you have to keep a lookout for people. They're always going out their way to cheer people up all the time. You know, always trying to make you laugh, you know, just make you forget about the stuff that you got going on that you're in war with every day. You know, because those are the most depressed people. You know, those are the, pers the ones that, you know, think about not wanting to live the next day or even the next hour or even the next minute. You know, they fighting with, the, they only got wars with themselves in some kind of, you know, hurtful, you know, uh, volatile way. You know, and it's just that at times you just don't realize how powerful you are. You know, and a lot of times we don't feel that when we've gone through so many different things. You know, it, it's just like, you know, life done counted you out. There's so many people that you love that just walked away from you. And they have no, I mean, it don't affect them. You know, because there'll be a lot of times it's like, there is no way I could do, you know, because there could be something that you've gone through and you look and it's like, you, you know, you could be a mean person and somebody push you to it. But the things that you are really facing, there's no way you can put certain things like that on, on other people like it's being placed on you. But you have to understand not everybody got that same heart and mindset as you. And a lot of times we get disappointed. If you expect somebody to treat you the same way you're being treated, you're going to be full of disappointment. You know, and I, that's how to get to that point when I was interacting with a lot of people. I had to get to that point where enjoy it while it's lasting now. People like, Dad, you only thinking I'm going to be in your life for five minutes. In the back of my mind, I already knew it was going to be something that was going to tee off and we were just going to part our ways. And I was just going to have to deal with it because it happened to me so many times. And it was like, I'm not going to wish bad on that person no matter how much, you know, something happened. Or, you know, if I did something, I hope they can forgive me and move past it and allow that to be a growth like it is going to be for me. You know, because I don't want to basically seem like every time somebody come in my life, I'm, you know, I'm the one getting hurt. There's some kind of pain that's going, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But it had to be that point where I had to enjoy that moment while it lasted. But, you know, being prepared that not everybody's going to stay into your life. Not everybody is going to, you know you the ball like you done handed it to them they're not going to do that you know some people will some people won't but you have to appreciate it all the time and I had to get into that vibration where I had to get to that lesson where it's like stop expecting so much from people because you put that out there not everybody's on that same vibe as you and not saying that somebody's more better than me or I'm more better than anybody and put myself on a pedestal and looking below anyone but it was just the point of how I move how I speak how I do you know other things you know when it comes to other people and those are the things I had to be able to understand you are a powerful person you have to remind you there if you have to get into the mirror every day and you know what's up against you what's you know it could be that one thing that it can bring you down but yet you're still facing it you're still allowing yourself to go through it you know you're trying to allow yourself to find some kind of exit out of that 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 low vibration you just don't know how powerful that is. It's making you, you know, and a lot of times we feel like, you know, you can see, you can give so many, but like, man, you won't get out of this, man. I see so many beautiful blessings come for you and I see, you know, these doors opening for you. But when it comes to yourself, it's hard for you to see it at times because you know what you're dealing with. You know what you're surrounding of, you know what you have been constantly going through day by day. And you just don't know just because the fact is you place kindness out to people. You give some kind of peace of reassurance in somebody's life and remind them life is too precious. You just don't know what you're molding yourself up to be when you're you're giving out that type of love. You don't know how you're impacting people with the inspiration because they may know the stuff that you're going through. Not everything, but they may know the stuff that you're going through and they're like, man... I don't know if I can do it because a lot of times people are like, Rosa, how do you do that? I said, sometimes you have to understand when you have strength and strength enough alone to go by, that can really get you a long way. I mean, there's moments, I tell people, there's many moments that I had, you know, weak, weak vibrations, weak everything. You know, there's times I wanted to really give the enemy what he want and just end my life because the pain got that unbearable. 
And then I had to be that point where I psyched myself out like, hell nah, <laughs> not me. I'm a sore loser. No, you're not going to win that way. You know, you're going to fight me for mine. You know, I'm going to go harder for me than more than you want me to not have it. And that's how I had to be. And I had to really be able to show myself, you know what you're dealing with. Look at all the things that's going against you, all the odds that's going against you. But you find one or two things that really just really get your gears off and really make you determined. And you have to be able to do that. If you know you're a sore loser towards certain things, you're going to have to sit up here and psych yourself out. You want such and such and such and such to do this? No. Okay, well, you want that. You know, you really got to just talk to yourself. Like, you, your, your higher self is talking to your current, you know, hot mess self. And you showing yourself, you know, you look at how much you done, how far you have come. You know, look what you are going. And when I'm saying that, made me think about Jan Janae I Aiko with that song, Born Tired. You know, it's like you want to give up. And it's like, look how far you going. Look at all you become. Look at all the stuff you got going. You didn't go through this stuff in vain. This, what do you think you entertaining God for? You ain't no jester. You know, you think about them little jokers that's up here, you know, juggling. You know, and you God just getting entertained by that. Because a lot of times we feel like God punishing us. No, he's just making you prepare for your realness. That's what he's doing. But he had to do that through wreaking havoc in your life. That's what makes you solid. That's what makes you dangerous. You know, because when you can be around something that you know that can really tit you off. You know, really tilt you off. And, and to get into that dark half and you really don't and you stay neutral makes you a very dangerous individual you know when you have every right to be enraged but you stay silent and just like if you really knew what was going on in my mind right now you would be going straight left and I know I'm pointing right and I said left you know I'm like you if you really knew what was going on in my mind you wouldn't even be trying to entertain that you wouldn't be trying to entertain yourself by trying to pull me out of my character because you really don't know what I'm capable of you know and you're at that vibration but it's just like at that time you're seeing, you know, because it, it's like when we're moving through ego, we're moving through fear, we're moving through jealousy and pride and all that, that. That's where we get messed up at. That's where we end up repeating a cycle that we're no longer needed in. We don't want welcome in that. But when you allow yourself to press pause on everything, and I mean shut down, anything could be all up in your face trying to do that, and you just totally ignore that. Like, you know, and you really thinking. Is this towards the growth? <laughs> is this really towards the growth? Are you ready to get out of this situation? Aren't you tired of being into this? You know, you already know how this is going in. You, it's like you watching a rerun that you don't watch about 20 different times and thinking that you're going to, you know, you're going to find something in there, your Easter egg you forgot about. But you're not seeing how everything went. That's just like if you, you know, a lot of times we get angry because it's like, man, I wonder how this is going to unfold. You know how our mind thinks. It's just like you reading a best novel. But you so impatient, you going to jump in and read the ending. And you going to spoil all that to see, what, you know, you going to miss all of everything that happened in between the places you're at towards the end of being able to mold out to see how it happened that way. And a lot of times we have to understand you got to practice patience. And I, I don't like that word. That's like the most cuss word. That's just like you saying yo mama jokes. You know, and really getting low the belt of yo mama. You know, I, I don't like that word. But then I had to allow myself to see how exciting it is just to see me strengthening up every day. Even when things are, I mean, really testing me. I allow myself to still say thank you. Any other time, you know, like you want to say, you know, great gratitude to God? No. You really want me? I said, God, I can see what the hell I'm telling him right now. And he can see what fingers sticking up. You know, it would be in that type of person. Like, girl, if you don't shut the hell up. You know, this man, I'm part of the Red Sea. He done made the world in six days. You think he can't flip you in one way? going to really make you, <laughs> you know, be one of those type of moments. You know, and I can wake up in the morning, even when all, everything's going against me. I said, thank you. You know, just for me to live another day to make some kind of correction that I wrong. You know, yesterday. But I'm leaving yesterday and yesterday. And whatever was affliction yesterday going to be a strength today. You know, and you start seeing your habits are changing. You know, the different things when you, you know, and it's just like God will tell you real quick. And he, he really wanted us straight to the point. I'm already where I'm at. I'm trying to get you there. For you to be able to see the potential I placed in you, I created in you. I'm going to have to make you go through some storms that just, it, it not everybody can go through them storms that you have. 
A lot of people going to hit pavement and go the other way. And there are certain things you have crossed that people won't dare to touch. They won't even get lukewarm to it. They back away real quick. You got you say, I got to go ahead. No, I'll take that to it. You know, two way to 200, Alex. You don't and go straight that way. But yet, there's so many barriers you don't cross that other people won't even tip to do. You're that diamond. And you had to, you know, you had to be shine, spit shine, all the coal, all the dirt knocked off. You had to go through it, through these pauses that you got. Certain things had to be snatched out your life. A lot of things had to be, you know, in, in heavy deception with you seeing lies and all this deception and all that. Just, you know, consuming you. You know, and there are so many times you wanted to end it all. There's so many times you wanted to, you know, just... Just cut off the just the middleman of pain and for you, anything that was a narrative to you, you wanted to cut that off. But something in you that told you you had to ride it out. There's something important that you may be missing out of if you don't allow yourself to understand. It's still something good that can come out of this, but it's gonna have to take you to be determined to find it. And all these things that you're going through, all these things you're facing, all these different things that God is placing, all these tests on you. You know, and you're going through so much at that time. And then you start to that point where you've gone through it so much. And it's not about you being in that ER vibe like, oh, God, this is always happening to me. Oh, you know, it's always that. You're not even in that vibration. I'm like, man, look, I don't went through this mess so much. It don't even hit me the way it can hit you. Even, ouch. Is that what supposed to hit? Tickle, itch, what, you know. What, you know, it's at that point where you've gone through it so much. It's like you can start seeing some kind of bright light out of that darkness somewhere. It's showing you the silver lining where you just all you saw was darkness and pain. You're starting to see some kind of line of hope when you were always drowning in despair. And these are the different things where it's going to show you talk so much fluent and pressure. There's a lot of people that are not able to translate that. They don't got it in Rosetta Stone and they don't have it in Babel. You know, it's something that you were born to do. There were certain things that was instilled in you. There's a lot of y'all that sit up here and read hieroglyphics and don't even know how you do it. You know, and I've seen how different people done sit up here and drew things and stuff like that. So you realize what you just did? No. Do you know that was part of a hieroglyph? You know, there's a lot of us that are very intrigued about different things that are written by the Incas, the Mayans, you know, shamans, you know some kind of sorcery you know there's sorcerers ritual you know uh pagans you know wiccans witches you know voodoo priests you know warlocks all these different things you know the emojis that was built off of some kind of hieroglyphs you know it's like history is repeating itself and there's only certain things that you're able to break because that was you you didn't realize these different things because you had to go through these hiccups and it's showing you how much power you have you know, you doubted yourself. You slept on yourself. You let enemies tell you who you were, what you were, and what you were going to be, and how it was going to continue to be. And you corrected them all the time by moving in a straight line when they were moving all crooked. You know, you allowed yourself to see straight through it when they were trying to blind you. These are all the different things to showing you. You're a diamond. You were that hidden gem. You bust open the ritual of the Pandora's box. Okay, you all kind of tea where you own your own factory of tea, you know, and these are the things you had to go through because it came to the surface, you know, it's going to get to that point where you had that crossword uh, road and you really going to see the, the power, the magnitude of power that you hold that's been instilled into you that whole time because everything that was in you that was growing and manifesting in you was hiding under fear childhood trauma drama any kind of abuse you went through you know certain things that was very detrimental to your heart your soul when those things started breaking away it got very uncomfortable because you peeling back something that you didn't know was there and it kept you kept on coming back and coming back until you start recognizing the person that needed your acknowledgement this is the person that you didn't know that was manifesting this whole time that's why you know you're getting rashes your your face is peeling your face is breaking out hair falling out you're, you're waiting gaining weight losing weight eyesight messing up ears you know you hearing all type of ringing when you go in different parts of the house it, it really start getting crazy when you're around different energies you know even you got animals coming up to you communicating in their own language in some kind of weird way you understand it that shows you you are that hidden gem you speak fluent and pressure. 
So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. This is like my eighth or ninth video I'm doing, and this is my last one. So I'm out. Peace.